beautiful people. Ola, ola, ola here, and I'm just going to do a little smudging using some of this phenomenal sage that I have in stock. And I have a whole bunch of it, too. So, you know, um, use some sage. It's free shipping on purchases of $20 or more. So that's a good little good little deal, but here's some sage. Everybody needs to get smudged. It's also, you know, I always think of this time of year as kind of like tying up any kind of loose ends. And usually people are in a pretty good mood and they're more likely to make amends and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it's a really good season for that. Reaching out, maybe people that we've neglected. Not maybe, inten well, you know, not intentionally, but, you know, it's a good time to kind of reconnect with people. I love that. And so then the smudging becomes so appropriate because you want to clear out all of that um, vibration that was um, malingering around and bring in some good, happy vibration into that. So anyway, I'm so glad. Whoops, there's the first one. So glad you're here today. It is Friday. I have a Reiki 1 class on Sunday at 1 p.m. here in my sacred, spa sacred space studio. I didn't want to, like, lose track over which the order these come in. So that's at 1 o'clock. You can text me at 405-549-3766. If you would like to attend, and I'll tell you how to get the hookup on that. Uh, and then we have an angel class posted for January. And it's actually on a really good high energy weekend. So that is a really interesting, fun class. Work with your angels. And then you also get certified to do angel healing work on other people as well, professionally. Okay, all right, so, okay, and, okay, one, two, three, four, five, okay, so we got five cards, and let me bend down and get this, don't go away, um, and, okay, all right, so, uh, interesting, I love the word interesting. Makes you wonder, well, what the hell does she mean by interesting? But we do have a really kind of cool little energy coming in. So without further ado, let's take a look at the brew coming in. And we're starting out with the wise one. And it's about growing within the current situation. So what this is indicative is that maybe the situation isn't going to change so much, but we are going to be the one changing within that situation. So it's about a, a, a difference of perspective, a difference in how we connect and how we look at how things are going in our life. So I like this energy. Because sometimes we get stuck in a rut. You know, it's kind of like we only see what we want to see. And we become very narrow, fo you know, narrow. I don't want to say narrow-minded, but narrow in focus. And we really don't look at things within the big picture. So when I see this card coming in, in this position, it's telling me the message that I'm getting in here is that your situation really isn't going to change, but you're going to start seeing it from a different perspective. And that means that you're going to be working through that and growing through that in a different direction. Maybe something that you hadn't quite anticipated. So this is the energy coming in. And let's take a look at what our obstacle is. Ah... Uh, our obstacle has to do with confronting our fears. And I'm going to say it like this. Sometimes what we're really looking at here is that our fears are going to be smack right in our face and out on the table. And everybody's going to be able to see what our fear is. They're going to be able to see what our fear is just as much as that we do 
And we're all kind of like looking around going, does she see what we see? Do we see what she sees? You know, hmm. So things becoming very apparent. And I'm going to say it like this, our weaknesses, our deficits. However, you know, when we have really good people, mentors, um, support group, support people that are in our lives, they are going to help us. They are going to help us with using our strengths and converting our deficits and weaknesses into a strength. So even though this is an, in the obstacle position of my five card reading, it's really not that bad of an obstacle. It's more of a, hey, um, like, let's start looking at the reality of things and let's do better. Let's move it in a better direction. That's the message that I'm really getting when I see this and it's in conjunction with where we started with my old granny here the wise one who's teaching us to look at things from a different perspective alrighty so now let's take a look at what our help is and our help is the mountains and it talks about standing your ground and sometimes we might look at this as like a boundary issue and I'm not seeing it as a boundary issue. I'm seeing this particular card, this particular energy and vibration. I'm seeing it as we are standing ground. We are grounded. Um, and we actually have a really good, strong foundation that our emotional and spiritual self is going to grow from. So this is a help, another help card. It's a good card. Um, when we're looking at this energy, this vibration, again, it is talking about being grounded, a strong, firm foundation, and that you're moving in a really good, healthy direction. So, I like this. This is auspicious. All right, holding space. Now, remember that when we're holding space... Often we are silent as we hold space. And you're like, oh, Maris, but how can I be silent through this? And I'm like, Shh, silence is golden. Let's be rich. When we're holding space, that's all we're doing. We're not giving advice. We're not giving direction. We're not doing a reading. Well, we might be doing a reading, but we're not always talking about the information or the, you know, what we pick up in that reading. And I'm going to say, I read people all the time. And it's not like I like wake up and go, oh, I'm going to read this. Uh, if I walk into a room and I feel like there's a funny energy, I'm going to start reading that room to see where that, that vibration is coming from. And then I'm laughing because then... Often, I'm going to hold space for you, and I'm going to share that healing with you and hopefully help you at least feel grounded and in, in a good place, even if it's just for a moment, you know, or that, that time that we're together. Um, so this is about holding space again, and it's about being observant, looking around, not giving advice, not giving direction solicited or not it's just about let's just hold space right now so um, I think that that's a very important card because it teaches us some patience in working through because some things we don't need to give all of our attention or all of our energy to we just need to hold space for that and maybe just for like a little bit of time all right so let's take a look look and see what the next card is well oh, that was the next card that was the last card and so i guess that uh that shield and maiden and it's talking about making plans in focus uh and i laugh because what are we doing we're coming up to the end of the year and what do we do at the end of the year oh we all make our new year's resolutions about how we're going to eat better. We're going to read a book a day, you know, a book a week. We're going to eat better. Um, we're going to be more attentive to our loved ones. We're going to save a dollar a day. You know, a million different things 
that we um, we kind of make an agreement that we want to do this um, at the beginning of the year. Now, notice what I said. We make an agreement that we want to do this. We haven't been making an agreement and implementing. All we're saying is, oh, I'd love to do this. And you're making an agreement when you say, I'd love to do this. You're making an agreement that you'd love to do it. So what Shield Maiden here is saying is that make that agreement and implement the agreements that you make. Implement the agreements that you make. So do a sister a favor, please. Love this video. When you love it, not like it, when you love it, it gets it into the algorithm. Comment something cool, where you're from, what you liked, what you didn't like, whatever. Be cool about the negative stuff, though, okay? And then share it. You know, Facebook charges me like two bucks a share on some of my stuff. And to share that with, you know, 80 people cost me 160 bucks. <laughs> You know, um, I'd rather be doing something else with the 160 bucks than, you know, just uh, I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, um, it can be really crazy when you're trying to advertise or boost a post on Facebook. So all I ask is that you guys love it, comment and share and hook a sister up. Peace, love and harmony. Have a great day.